In order to 3D print with Bamboo Studio, you need to create a new project and import your model. Open up Bamboo Studio, then select Create New Project. This is the print bed. This is simulating where your print will show up. Go ahead and look around, and this is to actual scale. In order to bring in a new model, in order to bring in a new model, simply click right here and add in your model. I'm going to select this one right here, Horseman. Select Open. It often will give you a warning. Your object is too small. It may be in meters or inches. Just click Yes. This happens when you're using Blender or Maya or other software that isn't in millimeters by default. You can scale your model either in the software that you're modeling in or scale it in Bamboo. Just remember that STL files and OBJ files have no inherent units. They're to scale, but they don't have any units. Bamboo Studio assumes everything's in millimeters. Note this warning I have here. It says 126 non-manifold edges. Tips. To repair the model, please use a third-party tool before importing it into Bamboo Studio. So you can use their own online repair recommendation, or you can repair it in Blender. I'm going to go ahead and repair this model in Blender, and then that way I can import the manifold model into Bamboo Studio and slice and print it from there. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this model now and then import the correct one. Once you've repaired your STL file in a third-party program like Blender, you're ready to import it again. Just click the box with the plus icon, then select your fixed manifold STL file. Go ahead and click this box again. Now when you bring it in, notice that there's no errors. That's because it's been fixed in an external program. Now you're ready to size it and scale it. This is going to be pretty small. You need to decide the size, understanding that the larger models take longer to print and use more filament. You can also use an auto arrange tool. So if I click auto orient, sometimes it comes up with a really ingenious way to print a model. In this particular case, it's decided that this is the same, most likely because this model is so complex that it really isn't sure what to do. I imagine that rotating the model a little bit this way will probably make it better. In order to rotate it, just click the rotate tool and then I could rotate it sort of like this. There's no guarantee which way will be the best uh, without a little bit of trial and error. Then when you're ready to slice your model, you wanna make sure you click on support, enable support. Tree supports are a lot easier to remove than normal supports. Then just click slice plate. This will show you how much filament you will use and how long it'll take to print. In this case, about 45 minutes. Then you wanna go ahead and save the project file to take to the 3D print shop. Click File, Save Project As, label your project, and save it. Then you have a file that you can take to a 3D printer and print. By saving it as a project file, you can still edit the file. This is different than saving it as G-code, which is the instructions for a specific 3D printer. This gives you more flexibility in the future. Hopefully this allows you to import an STL into Bamboo Studio and slice it with supports. Happy 3D printing.